on the location of the stockade in Stormwind City. It is located in the Mage Quarter northeast, which is on Eastern Kingdoms and Azeroth. Stay tuned for the guide and enjoy the video. Make sure you subscribe and like and turn on the little bell. Welcome back everyone and tonight we're going to bring you another installment of our Dungeon God series as our Restoration Shaman. And this evening we are going to go into the Stockade of Stormwind. It's a straightforward dungeon, three bosses, should be a pretty quick video. So we're going to go ahead and queue up and I will return after the queue has came. That is the sound we were waiting for. Outstanding. So let's get in there and get this done. Pretty straightforward. Left, right, center boss. No real special abilities. He'll go invisible. He puts a fire dot and hogger puts a casting dot on people. So that's pretty much it. There's quests to your left and to your right. In each room, unless you're horde, it's a little bit different. Our tank is a druid. So we're going to go ahead and see how he performs, or she. Um, we're going to watch how the tank performs. And then we're going to debate on doing damage after that. There's three hallways, a lot of pools. Uh, there's a probably seven here and seven down there. We're going to try to keep him up. We have aggro. Put your racial. Spam your healing surge if you can get one off in time. Taking a lot of damage. Kill yourself when you get a chance. Try to keep everybody up at the same level. Looks like we will not be able to do too much damage this time, which that is okay. Well, let's hope the next one goes a little bit better. So he's going to line a sight pool, we're going to dot one, we're going to rip tide him, we're going to start casting our healing wave, we're going to dot the next one, but I didn't dot the next one, I dotted the same one. We're gonna heal any casters. We're gonna chain heal our melee. And that'll be the end of that. This is a boss room. He's line of sight pooling the the ads on each side of the room out of the room. So we don't have to deal with them when we're actually fighting the boss. Put a riptide on him. As soon as the other one lets off, throw a dot if we can. And he's gonna pull the boss next. I would assume. Yep. Dot your boss. Riptide your tank. Try to do as much damage as you can before you have to heal. Precast your heal. Check the boss. He's going to disappear soon, and when he disappears, he's going to pick a random target and attack them. Reapply your dot. Start casting. Looks like we can get a good amount of cast in this time before we have to deal. Spam your lightning bolt. He disappeared again. Catch up your heals. Dot your boss. Start casting. And that is how you fight that boss. Pretty straightforward. And we got a level. We got 26. And um, we got reincarnation. 
So now when we die, we can bring ourselves back to life. So that's fun. I'm gonna go to the left. This is where the fire boss is. There is nothing I can dispel down here as a shaman. The, the fire dot they put on the party members, I cannot dispel it. So they're gonna glow most of the time. I can try. I, I dispelled that one. It must be different than a normal one. Gotta cast, gotta cast, gotta cast. That's all you can do. Riptide your tank. Another line of sight pool room. I think he actually got the boss that time. No, he did not. If you ever need a quick kill, if you ever need a panic kill, just use a killing search. much your go-to is your quickest heal whether it's flashlight um, flash heal I think it's for priest I'm not sure what it is for the other classes yeah I can't dispel that maybe I can't it actually worked that time try to do damage damage dispel anything that's on anyone I don't need to heal but I'm gonna go ahead and throw a chain heal and then a riptide and dot your boss and cast and hopefully we get a decent item I actually think I have some boost or something from the last uh, dungeon we did that are actually an upgrade yeah, we'll, we'll put those on. Yeah, cool. Uh, that's that. For this room, you can turn around and go back. I think he's going to do the extra pool of the side rooms. So we're going to follow our tank. There's nothing really you can do. Just follow along. Let's see. He's going to head down the hallway. Now you go back to which the way you came, basically, and you just keep going straight to Hogger. He does a maddening call, and it affects your casting speed by 60%, so you want to stay away from that. That's 60% uh, is pretty high as a debuff. We're going to pre-heal that big damage that's about to come. You see all the mobs. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-heal again. Riptide. I don't think we're gonna. Yeah, we'll go ahead and pre-heal a healing wave. Pre-heal another one. One more for good luck and a riptide. See what's up and just try to do a little bit of damage to help this fight get over. Free heal the healing wave. Bring him up. Do your damage. Do more damage. I would actually like to catch up to this warrior in damage. That would be nice. I play a, an alt warrior, low level. And uh, he should be doing a lot more damage than that. And that's okay. You might be a new player. You can't really complain about people that aren't doing any damage considering I'm a healer. Um, we have aggro right now. So we're going to run the mob to the tank. And hopefully his slash will actually pull the aggro, which it did. So we're going to come back to where we were. We're going to start a chain heal for these melee. We're going to do some damage because we can. We're going to do a little bit more damage because we can. And we're going to riptide our tank and we are ready for the next fight. I have aggro again from my riptide. 
We're gonna do some damage. We're gonna rip top the tank and start casting a heal because he's about to take a lot. I knew my Riptide was coming off of the tank, and that's what I mean by taking a lot of damage. You can see the timer counting down. So, yeah, when you see that, that counting down, you know your tanks let's take some damage. This is the final boss. This is Hogger. Fairly simple. Remember, stay away from his AoE that he'll put on you. And I still got it. I don't know how I got that AoE, even though I'm way back here. So now we have a 60% increased casting speed. So you want to pre-heal a little bit more. Let's see if I can get down this hallway, actually. Looks like I can stand down this hallway. And I won't get the debuff. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, no, I still got it. Wow. Crazy. Tank's taking damage. Pre heal your tank. Fogger has enraged. Do some more damage. Pre heal your tank. Fogger is dead. And that is the end of Stockades. I always want to call it Stormwind Stockades, but that is the end. This will be your quest turn in. This is a quest turn in, and the others are in that room. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to teleport out of here. <laughs> Alright, I want to thank you guys for watching. That was a pretty quick episode. Stay tuned for the next installment, which will be Nomer. And that will probably be later on this week. Um, then have a good day, and make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, follow me on social, and if you have any questions or want to see any guides yourself for any dungeon from Vanilla WoW to Battle for Azeroth and into Shadowlands when that comes out at the end of the year. But thank you for watching, and have a good one.